This distillery used to be one of the biggest producers of malt whiskey in the whole of Scotland, but nobody knew its name. Now it's running less than half the stills that it used to, but its fortunes are very much on the rise. Welcome to Tomatin. The focus at this Highland distillery, by manager Graham Yunson's own admission, has never been on aesthetics. But what it might lack in terms of beauty, it more than makes up for with an educational and enlightening visitor experience. I think it's the fact that at one time it was so big. That, that's why it, it is so much, it's evolved into what it was. It's never been designed properly. You wouldn't build a distillery like this from scratch. Um, but because of that, when the visitors come, I would say they get a more sort of honest view of what a distillery is. It's, it's not all about looks. It's about how the distillery actually operates and the quality of the whiskey that it makes. So yeah, we, we've been big. Um, we're now doing a sixth of what we used to be capable of doing as far as production levels goes. So it's all changed from being all about quantity to all about being quality now. Uh, and that, that keeps it interesting because we can actually get to play at different, different casks, different malts, different everything, uh, and see what effect it has. Sometimes it works, sometimes it works even better. Tomatin is certainly on a roll, exporting to more than 50 countries worldwide and making inroads into new markets all the time as a single malt. If you go back to the, the 70s, 80s, even into the 90s, Tomatin was used as a, a malt um, in everyone else's blends. Um, we've moved completely away from that in that we, we want to be masters of our own destiny. So it's all about the single malt now. Um, and that strategy, I would say, has been very successful for us. And that freedom allows Tomatin the flexibility to explore its heritage while continuing to look to the future with new bottlings and expressions. It's one of the things I always look at as being sort of a custodian of the distillery. You know, we're, we're passing through. The distillery will be here a long while before I was born and will be here a long while after I'm dead and gone. Um, so all we can do is look after it the best we can um, as far as the actual plant goes, but also the brand itself. So we'll do a bit of experimenting, we'll have some fun, we'll come out with some creative ideas as far as the whiskies goes and hopefully not only will I have good fun doing that, but the consumers at the end of the day will have good fun actually tasting it and losing it and trying it. The next time you're heading up the A9 towards Inverness, stop off and try it for yourself. Looks aren't everything after all. <laughs>